feels quite classy, you know? I wouldn't mind being in here. We could even do like a little red carpet running through. No, we're not gonna do that. Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge. Today we're doing the random pack challenge. I've seen a bunch of people doing this. You guys asked me to do this as well. It's the one where we build a house and every single room is built from a different DLC. So we're gonna randomize which of all of these we're gonna be furnishing each room with. Now we're not gonna do uh, every single room. I mean, I guess that's a different challenge that we could maybe do at some point. Uh, but we'll do like a, a around about like a two, three, bedroom sort of sized house and the the way I've seen this done is we're gonna build like a little shell first of all and then we're gonna sort of build uh, well then we're gonna pick, pick out what packs we're gonna do from that point forward so I'm gonna just get a few rooms going here I mean I think something of that size is probably good it's not too big but it's also not too small so we're not kind of stuck in with what we've got I guess we could also do that I don't know what that room would be but it's also a room in the middle and then I guess that could actually be it because we could do a bathroom a bedroom bedroom bathroom and then living and kitchen, and then I guess a hall? I don't know, it's not ideal, but it, it's something that we can go with and we can work with. Actually, you know what, I might do a second, I might do a little pop-up roof, uh, a pop-top on a house. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we can figure that out later. So let's build some roofs. I mean, that that does work. I, I'm not really, I'm not disliking this place. It's not bad. You could also add like a little porch roof there as well if we wanted, just have like a little entrance here. That's looking good to me. All right, so I guess I can't really do much more than this because wallpapers and windows and doors and even columns and all that is gonna depend on what packs we get. All right, so over on my website, I have this tool that I built a long time ago for challenges just such as this one where we can randomize which uh, pack we're gonna get. So we can select, if you don't own all of these, if you just click on them, you can remove them from the generator. It won't make them show up. And I just removed this one because I don't want it. I've got all the packs, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll it. And this will be the exterior, I guess, assuming that it's a pack that makes sense. Get to work, okay. We can work with that. We can get to work with that. <laughs> and we have one wallpaper. I thought that was gonna be, I thought, get, why did I think get to work had more wallpaper? Right, so does that mean I have to use this for the exterior? <laughs> you know what, actually, if this isn't as bad as I thought it was, I thought this was much worse. I think it's just because there's like a metal one as well in that. Yeah, okay. You know what, this is actually, this is workable. It does surprisingly actually kind of work. It's not a nice looking home. But it's not a bad looking home. Now, I don't think there's any roof. The only packs that came, there's only a few packs that came with the roof, so I'll just use whatever. I, as long as it's a base game, I'll just use whatever roof. There you go. That looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, now get to work. I think has some columns, doesn't it? Yeah, not, ooh, oh, yeah, not, <laughs> not great columns. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess this is probably my best option, so I'll just do that one there. That works. Uh, and then the fence options also equally, oh, some of these I really like, but not. If we're trying to do a nice little house, not ideal. Okay, so there's that door, or oh, there's, actually, you know what, I might use this door. You know what, what if we just hide the door on the side? Maybe that's a better option. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Windows, oh, actually, this is quite nice. I like this. All right, so initial thoughts on windows were better than my actual thoughts. Because it's like this. <laughs> there's, this one is also quite nice, but it's definitely, it, it's too big. It could go over here, make it white, I guess. There's a lot of white going on, but I think get to work also, yes, had these. So we're gonna add some of these in. I will use move objects. I've got no qualms about that. Just to cover up that gap at the bottom a little bit. Uh, plant options, severely limited. Uh, I think I might just not include landscaping in the exterior because I feel like that, I feel like it's a different thing, you know? So I guess our door will be white just to match that. Do we have floor tiles and get to work? Uh, we do, that means I have to use one of them. Oh, you know what, that's actually not, the problem, the, I guess the main problem I'm having right now is we've got such a lack of contrast in this build. Like everything is just white or gray. My little pop top is, it doesn't really have a lot of room for windows up here. We have these <laughs> windows, the jail windows that can fit. I mean, it's getting cut off by the roof, but I think we're gonna just have to deal with that. Cause I, I would like it to have windows up the top. It's not just supposed to be a dark room with nothing in it, with no hope. So that, that I think that'll work. Okay, so that's the exterior. At least pretty much all I can do with it with get together, uh, get to work, sorry. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just do some base game landscaping as well, just to help out. We won't, we won't do too much, but I think, I think it's only fair that we have some sort of 
trees and actual bushes. Now, I know I like gray and blacks and whites, but this build is just another level. Oh, this is so ugly. Can I do something with this? There's gotta be something I can put there, hang on. I mean, it fits. It fits up there, but uh, it doesn't really make any sense. Likewise with this, it also fits, but I need to put a window because it's just, I can't, and the roof has to be lowered. So it goes underneath it like that. Or do we just not worry? Maybe we just don't worry. Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's just do that because then that's fine. Okay. Let's go inside. Let's uh, do the first. Oh, I forgot that that was a bedroom. I guess it's not a bedroom anymore. I mean, I can move the door, right? That wasn't, the, 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 there was no rule saying I couldn't move stuff. I mean, this could be a bedroom. Problem being is what, then that's still a bathroom, but how do you get to, I guess you got to go through there to get to that bedroom. But then this bedroom has no windows and Quite frankly, I'm pretty sure the only window that could fit, well, actually this window could fit there. Oh, you know what? You know what? This might work. Look, it's not ideal. It, it's far less than ideal. Let's, let's be real. It's an ugly house. There's no denying. If we dress it up a little bit, it's going to look better. That's eh, a bit better. It's a bit better. All right. So now, okay. So then I can use this as a bedroom. This is a bedroom. This is now, I guess, an entrance. I, I don't know. And then this is a living space. I don't know. This house doesn't make any sense anymore because of that mistake with the door. But it is what it is, and we're going to deal with it. So let's figure out what our next room is going to be. All right, here we go. Generate. Spooky stuff. Oh, this is what Kayla got as well. Maybe <laughs> Kayla was getting mad at me because my generator kept giving crap packs. Maybe, maybe it's my fault. Oh, spooky stuff. So what? There's nothing in spooky stuff. That pack doesn't have anything in it. It's got like, I guess it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a similar room to what Kayla did. Like... Actually, we could do it as a living room. Uh, like, I guess this is just an entrance hall because what else can I do with it? There's like these these things we can use. I got some curtains, I guess. God, I guess it's Halloween. Let's go nighttime just so we can get the right amount of lights here. So I guess we got this thing. Maybe actually, let's get them around the window like that. It's a little dark in here though, isn't it? Can we put this in? No, it has to stay inside. We got a candy thing there. Well, we need doors. This doesn't have doors, does it? No, so I guess I'll just use base game doors, at least for now. Archway there. Just into the living space. That's supposed to be a bathroom, which I guess we'll have the door from here as well. Why not? Because this is now kind of like a little hallway foyer kind of thing, which makes sense. So flooring uh, has to be spooky stuff though, because we have it. So either this, well, different could be a different color too. It could be like that. I'd want a flooring that looks like it could be just their normal flooring. Oh, okay, so we've got quite a few wallpaper options actually. I guess that's the most boring, just a wooden one. I guess we could actually... Um, we could. So we did wood on those walls and we could get like cobwebs on that wall. And then like these spooky little bat things on this wall. I mean, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun room. If it was a fun house, it's a fun room. I don't really feel any these rugs. I mean, we don't have to use it, but I feel like we should. Because when else am I ever going to use this rug? Let's get this in the corner there. Just get a little bit more light in this room. It's so dark. It's so dark. All right. So I get, I mean, I guess that's really all I can do. I guess I can get some more pictures. So we've got that one. I guess we can get this one over here. Do that. I can't see what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> that room is just pitch black. All right. I think that's pretty good for now. Let's move on. So I guess the next room, uh, depending what it is, I, I'm not going to commit to which room it is until we get a pack because we'll just see. So this is going to be dine out, which what does that have? A lot of plants. We've got, do we do have a dishwasher? There's not really any kitchen stuff though, is there? Besides like the obvious restaurant kitchen. There's dining tables. It might have to be a living room because I can't really use it for a bedroom. I guess this is our living room. All right, so let's have a look. So let's see, we could get like these wall lights. I think I like scaling them down though. So if we had like a little, just a couple of little wall lights in here. Dine out wallpaper, we have a wood panel, uh, a brick and a brick. Now, I don't think bricks make sense because the outside is like a paneling. So it almost makes sense to just have another paneling on the inside like this. Yeah, it's just, it just gives a real classy vibe. <laughs> You know, all right, flooring wise, got some decent options actually for carpet, for carpeting anyway, we've got a few options and then we got some tiles and stuff, which we won't use because it's the living room. Well, we could match our spooky entrance, but let's use this. Quite classy, you know, I wouldn't mind being in here. We could even do like a little red carpet running through. No, we're not going to do that. All right. So actual sitting stuff, <laughs> we're going to have to use booths. Uh, we do, let's, see, let's figure out a door. Do we have doors? Oh, we do. And it's this. All right. Well, let's do a door to the, I mean, I can use, I can use base kit. Can I use base kit? Or should I use it? I should use this. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not using this for the bedroom. We'll use a different door. Well, hopefully when we get to the bedroom, we'll have a different door we can use. I feel like I can use base game for that. I'm going to use base game for that. Um, and we'll figure out the doorway to that bedroom later. Oh, we need stairs actually. I didn't put that in the shell and I guess there's no, 
Wait, is there dine out? There's no dine out stairs, is there? I'm just gonna use base game stairs for this. Cause actually, oh, that's actually, that's actually quite good. That, oh wow, that, I'm surprised how well that worked out, dang. We've got these little sideboard things, which I guess we'll just do one of now, maybe just there. Or maybe it should be over here in front of this window. Kind of in the way, but you know, I feel like that's kind of the charm of it. Oh, I want this right in the middle, but it won't let me put it there. So what I'm gonna do, is just move objects at there. There, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I've rotated it, there we go. Yeah, beautiful. And then I want like, I did want this in the corner. It doesn't quite fit, but I think it's okay. Oh, we get these curtains as well. I love these curtains, but they don't really make sense in this room. Oh, this is from Dine Out? Sweet. Should we get one of these like textured walls? <laughs> There's nowhere to put it though. All right, I need some more lighting in it. Let's get some more lighting in first. Let's figure out that. Is that a little low? Like where is, where is a sim's head? Are they gonna walk through? I think they're gonna walk through those. Yeah, so we're just gonna scale those down a bit. That, that should be okay. All right, so those go there. Um, oh, the, the couch setup is not great. Uh, Cause I'm gonna have to use this. Oh, the aquarium. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's sitting there now. We got the aquarium there behind the couch. Uh, this is like a little, I guess, way for you to get to that bedroom. Cause we'll have a door there at some point. Get a boat above the couch. Yeah, that's nice. I want to use this, but there's not really any way to use it. So I'm just going to put it against this wall. No, let's use the other one. Let's use, I never used this one. Let's use this one. Oh, look at this. I don't think I've ever used this. Yeah, this is actually really, this is a really nice item. I actually really, I really like this and I've never used it. All right, so we got a blue and a yellow. <laughs> just here you go, put this in there. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, there's no TV. So I don't, I'm not really sure what to, uh, uh, I guess we can do some of those strips. I'm trying to use as much of this pack as we can. Just put that on here. There you go. It does cover the window, but whatever. Nice brown one to match. Oh yeah, now this is a living room. Now it's a shame that we don't get to use these anywhere. I Maybe mean, we could put it here actually. So it's just like almost sitting on top of this. So then you, there is a second set, uh, a second row, but we can't see it. So I actually think it looks quite good just seeing those there, especially through the window. It's, it's just bottles lined up. Ah, oh, shame we didn't get to use the bubble wall. Can we put it in front of the window? We can put it in front of the windows. So it's like you're going on like some sweet underwater adventure. Okay, that's our dine out living room. So sweet. All right, let's see what we've got next. Let's Let's go. Give me something good. Give me something to work with here. Luxury party stuff. Oh, that is actually the worst. What a, I can't furnish anything with that. Okay, I'll show you what's in that because I don't think we can use that. These are the items. Look, at some point we may have to decide not to use one of the packs we get because we just can't. But in this case, I think we could turn this into our luxury party room. All right, so now thankfully, well, I don't know, thankfully is a very loose term when talking about this stuff pack. These. Curtains are actually also light sources, so we can cover every single wall with these curtains, so then we don't even see those wallpapers we put in. And it also provides us with light. We can get a bar up here. <laughs> oh no. This is where they like to try and host parties, but everybody hates their parties that they host. I reckon we could probably fit every item in here. We got, well, actually I think so. Well, hang on, what have we got? We've got this stupid buffet thing. We've got this thing, which needs to go on top of this thing. Okay, we don't. I don't think we can get both of these tables. I think we definitely got to get this one over the other one. Oh, I actually kind of wish this room was a little bit bigger now. I'm going to be honest. I like the idea of the bar sort of facing into the room like this, but we might actually just need to not do that. Get a couple of chairs on this. Maybe just shove it in the corner. Oh, this is a light too. Sweet. Let's use this as like a fence post at the top of the stairs. Oh, we don't have this thing on the wall. Little light, uh, light panel. I don't know if they can get through there. I kind of wanted that in line with it. We might need to move these bar stools. Boom cube is what this is called. What a stupid item. I mean, I don't have enough room, so maybe we just don't. Uh, I don't want to use it. I want to use it because it's so stupid. Maybe we move this. We put the boom cube, boom cube under there. And then this, I don't think I can fit everything up here. I mean, this room just, this room is literally just me shoving stuff in. It's not designed in any way. <laughs> maybe we can make it look a little bit nicer. Let's, we set up the table at least like that. That's a bit nice. I think we're just gonna have to get, let's get rid of that thing because that's making it too tough. Uh, we'll get this over here. I don't, let's get rid of that. Let's just put this back. I think the walls do look better just covered in all these things and we'll keep our boom cube here. And then, I mean, that's not a bad party room. I don't know, this gold, these gold sequin tables kind of coming out of nowhere because everything else is blue. Maybe we change these to gold instead. Yeah, that's our luxury party. Oh, we got no, we got no fence there. That's really unsafe. All right, there we go. Our luxury party pop top room. Nailed it. I think that, that that turned out really well. All right, come on, give me something good. We got, we still got a bathroom, two bedrooms and the kitchen to do. So I need a pack that I can actually work with here. Movie hangout stuff. That was a nice pack. This would have actually been better for a living room. Do we just do one of the bedrooms and then just add a bed from base game? I guess that makes sense. Let's do that. Let's do like, maybe let's do this bedroom here. Actually, is there a door? This had a door, didn't it? 
Oh, yeah, totally did. Sweet. All right, so we're going to get sweet door here to the bedroom. Oh, yeah, which door do we want? Any wallpapers? Oh, man, it seems like such a cool pack. It seems like it would be perfect to have like some fun wallpapers and flooring with. All right, so we have to do some base game stuff here. So we'll do We'll definitely do um, some fun stuff. Is this base game? There we go. It looks like the door. See, it's like the same colors as the door. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to try working with it and see where we get to. Maybe the wall should be more subdued just to not di not distract from the floor. <laughs> We've got one window, so that's good. We can use some curtains with that. Uh, might actually just make it a little bit smaller to sit there. Then we need, well, I need room for a bed. Let me Actually, maybe let's do the bed first just so we can see where that's going to go. There you go. Nice little... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> leaf pattern on there. Great. Okay, let's go back to show all. Now we're gonna start decorating the room. We're definitely gonna need some lights in here as well, which I think looks like we got a few options. We do have a dresser though, which is actually kind of handy. So we will get that. Let's get that over here. It matches the door beautifully. Gotta make sure that you can actually get in the room without hitting your head on these things as well. Ideally, that above the bed. Oh, that's perfect. This actually, this actually isn't bad for bedroom stuff. Oh, these plants came in this pack. I love these. I use them all the time. We get a little chair here. I love these too. I love all these these seats. They're so cool, but it's not really. And I guess I can put one here. So it's like the bed isn't colorful enough anymore. Like <laughs> it seems like it needs more stuff. Turn that into a more of a desk. I guess that makes more sense as well. Move this by the door, I guess. And then if we put this over here, so we still have like a nice like relaxing area. Yeah. I just get this little poof under here. So it's like sort of tucked away under the desk. Like you could use it if you wanted, but you're not going to. You know, a couple movie posters maybe. I would like to put like a computer or something here, but I guess you guys can add that if you want. No, not that I'm assuming anyone's going to want to download this house, but if you did, you could put a computer there, but I'll put that little light there. The bed, surprisingly, is the least obnoxious thing in this room, which is, uh, it's kind of actually disappointing. I want a more colorful bed. Yeah, I think that is better actually. It just adds a sort of more floral stuff to it as well. That is looking like a movie hangout stuff bedroom. That, I actually don't hate that. I mean, it's a lot. It could probably be toned down a little bit if you mix it with some other stuff, but um, it's kind of fun. It is kind of fun. Give me a pack I can use. Give me a pack I can use. Give me a pack, get famous. Hmm, that could actually be really handy. All right, so get famous, thankfully is an expansion pack. So that's gonna give us a few more options, I think. Oh, we have, oh, we could do the bathroom. Oh yes, we're doing We're doing the golden bathroom with this. Um, I have no idea, we're then gonna be down to two rooms after this, but this is definitely a bathroom pack. Oh yeah, we're totally using these on the floor. Totally using these on the floor. Oh yes, this is the best wallpaper. Do I want to go black and gold or do I want to go like, which kind of gold tone do we want? I feel like, should we go the more full on gold? Yes, we should. That door is so disappointing. Can I change the door? I'm allowed to change the door. If, is there, there's a get famous door, right? That I could use? Should we use that? No, we should leave it because it, otherwise it'll ruin that. Okay, let's leave it. All right, so flooring wise, is there flooring? Yes, the marble. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I don't know about the black. I think the black is, is actually too much. Be like the white with the gold through it. Like that isn't also too much, but you know, whatever. All right, so we need the golden toilet. So it's gonna go there. We need the golden sink, put that there for now. We gotta have the golden swan bathtub. But can we fit the shower as well? I think so. The shower can go there. Ah, oh, it means we miss out on that little floor detail, but that's okay. Yeah, that actually kind of works. All right, so what other Get Famous stuff do we have? Because we, we do need to actually furnish out the rest of this. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. Maybe we have this one here, make it gold. I would really like this to be here, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to scale it. I mean, I can move the sink over, but then like none of the central stuff in the room aligns. I guess I could just do that. Maybe get rid of the corner thing. We can keep the two corners over there. Uh, we definitely need more lights in here though. Maybe like, I guess we could do this. Something like that, I guess. Yeah, all right, let's get some more lights as well, please. It's so dark. I would like to use this, but I think we're gonna have to Scale it down a bunch of times. Yeah, if we just scale it down, that should be fine. <laughs> yeah. Now this, hang on, we gotta jump into, into this mode. This is a bathroom. You go from this room and then walk into here. <laughs> so dumb, so, so dumb. All right, is there anything else we could squeeze in? Oh, a plant would be nice actually. Maybe just scale it down a little bit so it fits at the end. Yeah, actually that's quite nice. Twisted ribbons. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna use it. Sure, that looks pretty fancy. I mean, that's all I can really fit in here. So I guess we'll call that room done. So we've got our Get Famous bathroom. All right, we need a bedroom and the kitchen. I hope we get a pack that has a kitchen in it. The problem is there's not kitchens in many packs. Okay, next one, we have Get Famous. Now we're gonna have fitness stuff. Oh, I don't mind the items in it, but I don't know that we can use that. Yeah, it's more like living room, I mean. I guess we could do a bedroom out of it, but it's really limited. I, let's try and use it. We'll try and, I mean, 
in the spirit of the challenge, we're supposed to be using these packs. So I don't want to have to. I don't want to re-roll unless we absolutely have to. So we'll do like. Oh god. Do that. Get some of this over here. There you go. Uh, there's obviously no bed either, so let's just pick a bed uh, from base game to use. And this room is pretty bland, actually. Get these little mirror things above the bed. Oh yeah, you really blend them in the walls. That's good. You get like a little sofa sort of setup in here as well, I guess. Uh, so we could do that, and then maybe not a dining table. Ooh, you get a little coat thing as well. There you go. Get a map. There you go. What other options do we have? We got. Oh, okay. We could do. We could do some nice little pictures here. Look at that one there. That's nice. We have a bookcase actually. I totally, I totally missed that. Let's get this in. Move this then. Move this over to here. No, move this to here. Why does this feel like it should go the other way? It almost feels like the glass should be on the other side because I keep thinking I put it the wrong way, but no, that's that's right. That'll do. I think that's my little fitness stuff bedroom. There's no curtains in there and plenty of windows and there's no dresser, but there is a bed, but it's just base game. So, all right. So I guess we're up to the last room now, the kitchen slash, I don't know, dining or whatever we want to put in there. Uh, I guess let's see what we get. Here we go. Generate, 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 generate. Cats and dogs. Oh, actually, I think we might be in luck. That has uh, counters, doesn't it? Or does it not? It better, because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Does it have any kitchen stuff? Hmm. See, I, I don't want to build a kitchen if there's no kitchen things. Like, is there any things that we could use? I mean, there's like these kind of items, but like beyond that, like it's not really... So what I guess what I'll do is I'll try and build this based around the idea of, you know, pets and stuff. And, and all the items. I'll try and decorate as much as we can to look like cats and dogs. Right, I'm just gonna put a door there. Just put a door there. Sure. All right, so walls and floors. Do we have any of those? We do have flooring, which is nice. Beautifully unmatched to the rest of the house as per usual. I'm not actually sure what floor we want to go with yet. Uh, maybe we'll start off with that and see where we end up. Okay, let's do that. Then I guess we're gonna have to just do a different kitchen because there's just nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so I guess we'll just do a base game kitchen. Um, so we're gonna go, I guess, along this wall maybe could be good. There you go. And then is there a cats and dogs sink at all? Or is that, am I? Oh, there is. We got a sink in here. Maybe swap this out a little bit. Put that there. So the sink goes there. Move it forward a little bit. We'll, we'll sort of put it in closer to it because that'll work. Oh, we do. We have these. Ah, oh, perfect. Can these be the bluey? Oh, yes. We got that sort of bluey color from that that um, sink there. I just put these lights in here as well. I didn't actually know what I'm doing with them. I'll get a smaller one just so it doesn't take up the entire room. We get, uh, should we get a litter box maybe? Can we get in the corner here next to the door? It doesn't really fit. No, you'd definitely knock that over. Get a little automated dispenser. I might get a little toy box somewhere maybe. Just get that next to the litter box. Sure. Do that. Okay, so now let's just go show all. I do like this. Can this fit here? Probably. That's going to stop them walking around this way, but I don't really care. we got to get some of these things though. We might have to rearrange a little bit. That's obviously too tall for our walls. We can get this one in. <laughs> no, that's, no, no, that's not going in. I'm sorry. Get this little thing with the pet leads to have them buy like, Whoops, by the back door here. Oh, we got these in Cats and Dogs, nice. Lots of curtains as well. Get some of these little lamps and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, actually let's get the bookcase there maybe. Definitely doesn't really fit there, but we're putting it there anyway. Then we get this, no, that's gonna be knocked over by the door. I don't think we can use that lamp, that might be too big. Then we move this larger one over to the side, move that pet thing, move this leads thing. There we go, now we're looking a little bit better. Get the pets uh, little toy box underneath. It's all very white in here though as well. Like I kind of want to, oh yeah, they, I forgot they had like that distressed wood pattern as well in this pack. So we're, get, we're getting somewhere, it's a little boring. It's a weird uh, space, weird space. Oh, let's get all the pet treats and stuff. That'll, that'll make this area look a little bit better. Some of these other little jars of stuff and doggy food bags and other knickknacks and patty wax, little snacks or whatever. What is that? So it kind of looks like they're hanging off of this bar here and then they've sort of been pushed back a little bit. So, I mean, the idea is that you pull them all the way across, but then they've sort of just been pulled back to the sides. So it's, you know, a little bit, a little bit open, but and it also doesn't like fully close the entire windows, but it also makes it look a little bit more interesting, I think. Uh, it'd be nice if they were a little longer, <laughs> so they didn't look a little short, but I think it adds something to our build, which is nice. Oh yeah, we can use like one of these guys. Oh yeah, this will make it way better. Here we go. That old <laughs> beautiful rug. <laughs> I mean, this uh, it looks a little, it looks a little lifeless in here though. Cause the problem is cause we've got so many windows. I can't really do anything with them. Like I can't put that on it. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, some plants that always solves everything. None of these really fit on anything except for this. I don't think I've ever used this. 
But now I have beautiful. And I'm gonna use this thing as well. <laughs> I don't think they can sit on any of these, but whatever. If I put it over here, then maybe that one will still work. Rotate that a bit. Oh yeah, okay, that is a cat and dog's kitchen. All right, so I, I mean that's pretty much the house. I think I just do a little bit of uh, a little bit of that out the back. Maybe get a little bin. Actually, does cats and dogs have a bin? Uh, it doesn't. So I just use this guy here. Just check that out the back. Oh, actually, does um. I'll get the work does, but that's an interior bin, so you can't really use that. All right, that's fine. We'll do that. And then I think just a little bit more landscaping out the back. Nothing really fancy, just a tree or two. And just a little bit of like sort of dirt, terrain painting. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't really want to do much more else on the outside because it's, it's never really going to look that good. But I think this is... Oh, that window's broken. That's so sad. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now this, this is a hell of a house. I think we're going to give this a tour. So we've got the beautiful outside. All completed with get to work. That was kind of lucky, but also kind of sad because it is really bland on the outside. But it is certainly its own look. And then if we go into the first room, beautiful spooky stuff, uh, entry hall, uh, which was actually originally supposed to be a bedroom that we kind of messed up, but that's fine. Off the hall, we do have the get famous golden bathroom. Now that's good. That looks good. I mean, I don't know that I would want it, but... There you go. And then off to the left, we have the fitness stuff bedroom, which is also kind of not great. Not my favorite room of the house, but, um, you know, it, it, it got the job done. You know, it did what it needed. Then we've got the dine out living room with our beautiful bar on the right and our uh, booth seating couch right there with our aquarium fish tank and bubble windows that makes us feel like we're underwater. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Then we got our movie hangout stuff. Bedroom. Oh my lord. This is a vast ch change compared to the rest of the house. It's just so much going on. And it has like the, the, the it has the least amount of windows and like the smallest one of all the rooms as well. Uh, and then we got our, our cats and dogs kitchen we just did, which actually I'm not too upset with this. I mean, it's not great. Uh, I guess it, uh, we did what we could. We got some pet stuff in here. You could have a cat in this house. So that's exciting. But last, and last but not least, we can't forget, we cannot forget the beautiful luxury party stuff pack party room where you can throw all the best bashes with your boom cubes right there. Look at that. It is the best item in game. Um, and then that's it. That, that is the, the house with the random packs. I mean, it certainly looks like a random selection of rooms and it is, and that is it. And I'm gonna leave it there and we're never gonna talk about this house ever again. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below and have an awesome day.